Worldwide Jets, worldwide match. On the Breakfast Club. She's a culture shift. She was able to get y'all to see something and understand something that nobody could get you to see. It's time to set it off. So yesterday, Amanda Seals took to our Instagram. She had um, posted a video uh, basically coming for black people who take pictures with harmful figures who are harmful to our community. That's what she said. We as a community stop acting like taking pictures with people who have actively harmed us as a community with their words, with their money, with their actions. Can we once and for all acknowledge that taking a picture, smiling with them, whether it's Elon Musk or Donald Trump or Joseph Biden, like taking pictures with these people is not you infiltrating so that you can be the savior. And this idea that if you go in there and smile up with them, that you're going to be the next Martin Luther King is really wild because you know how Martin Luther King left this earth? He was assassinated. So in her caption, she directly addressed Swiss Beats and Billy Porter, but I swear Vezo took offense to our message because he just shared a picture of himself with Donald Trump and Peasy a few days ago. And he decided to call Amanda out on his story. And he went pretty hard. I'm not gonna read all of it, but he said, nobody believes you weirdo. Stop talking so much and give back. You talk too much and never actually do anything for the community except tear us down in the name of building us up. You're a lying little old girl. You lie about having autism, then lied again when you were caught lying. Uh, stop playing with real iggas before you learn the difference. And basically, he was just saying he wants to be uplifted by real solid black women saying that she's not one. So when his message hit the blogs and everything, because of course it went viral, he had, he apparently he had a, a conversation with Amanda. Um, she hasn't said anything to that online, but they had a conversation. And so he apologized about speaking towards a woman in that way. And he said, it's all love. I had a conversation with Amanda. Um, she is totally entitled to her opinion. I have a little girl, so there's no way I should have got out of hand like that. Um, I think he got just, cause she wasn't talking directly to him. So I just think whatever the conversation was about was probably, it probably entailed that um, he just was triggered by it. Um, and then he even went back on the picture that he posted with him and Donald Trump and changed the caption and basically was like, everybody not going to like this, but you know, it's not really like, yeah, everybody not going to like this, but he like it. So basically that message that she was talking about doesn't apply to everybody or whatever, but he took offense to it. So, um, that was that. And then Kylie Jenner breaks down in the latest episode of the Kardashians, uh, she admitted to our sister Kendall that people always got something negative about her appearance from the time she was younger to right now. And that's what she said. I hear nasty things about myself all the time. I think it's just after 10 years of hearing about it, it just gets exhausting. I'm kind of like so numb to people talking about mm -hmm. my looks at this point. And I just want to know why on the internet no one says anything or think that it's okay. Well, I think that's a general thing with our family. We're dehumanized. Like, whereas like if you talked the same way you do about us, about any other woman, people would come to their defense all day long. But for yeah. some reason with us, it's like they don't think we have any feelings. <laughs> Just like, why do people think it's okay? Yeah, that she said, Kylie. That was, that was Kylie crying? Yep, that's what we talking about. We're talking about Kylie, mm -hmm. not... Um, yeah, she she's tired of the criticism of how she looks. Ever since she was a little girl, people was talking about her, and that's what made her get the surgeries, I'm sure. And then now, I guess, she had a little too much of it, and everybody keep talking about her. So she's just not happy, but she did say she is grateful and blessed to wake up each and every morning, and she thinks she's still beautiful. So Well, that's what happens when you jump in front of that camera, right? That The Kardashians' whole thing has been All about looks and, 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 mm -hmm. and their family values and things that they do for success and to make money. So people are going to criticize that. And yes, she yeah. changed the way that she looks. That The way that she looks now mm -hmm. is not the way that she is supposed to look. She's had many surgeries. And anybody yeah. in this industry that had had <laughs> surgeries, we talk about and we discuss. We can go from Michael Jackson. Yeah. We can go from anybody that looks like Catwoman. Anybody that has girl. surgery... We mm -hmm. discuss. Tell him, girl. It tell him, girl. It tell is him, girl. Yeah. We what talked else? about tell Michael him, Jackson. Girl. Michael Jackson's a man. We talk about anybody who had had those surgeries. We talk about people. And it's who actually, it, it is what it is. You don't know what Michael Jackson actually, identified as. 
is actually a lot of people was actually Shut talking up. about that she looked like Michael Jackson. I know I've said that before. <laughs> um, you know, she in his like last Jackson. days. And one of them stages, you know, yeah. But I would love to look like Michael. What? So. Um, moving on, man accused. Um, uh, she, she also <laughs> she, she also should she also should know that ninety nine percent of what people are saying about her online is probably jealousy and envy. Correct. You know, like if she was some like, like majority mm. of it is just people upset be, that she is who she is. Like you 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 really don't have an opinion about her looks that much. Right, and we can't sit here and nah. say that 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 the surgery and this is gonna sound so crazy that that surgery didn't make her look better. The surgery. I, the, no, no, what I'm saying is that there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there who have way worse surgeries, but they're not, you know, uh, famous ass Kylie Jenner, billionaire ass Kylie Jenner. So a lot of what people are saying about her is uh, jealousy and envy. Because oh, need, okay. needless criticism, uh, needless a lot that like that's what that is. That's just needless. It's needless criticism. Like who cares? She ain't the worst looking. There's people out there with way worse surgeries. No, but she looked way better than when her surgery. She looked better. She looks better with the surgery. I'm not gonna. That's my point. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my point. All right. Okay. Well, all this is subjective because I don't agree with even one of y'all. People like people love them. People really, really love her. People love Kylie. She's yeah. a very sweet. You know, like she's great. Mm -hmm. But no, the surgery is like it's like what? Are, what are we talking about here? No, like it's a lot of it is uh, people are jealous of Cardi. People jealous of everybody. People Correct. jealous of influencers. Before we even get to these billionaire girls, but I'm saying like. It's right there. Like we see it and then we keep seeing it progress and progress the into surgery, something you mean. else. Right, yeah. Yes. But you, yes. you have so a lot of haters. Yeah, because like, you know, like yeah, yeah. your co host will, will say that I those. have a fake nose or I got surgery on my nose and it's not true. And people make fun of me and it hurts me and I'm going to start crying. True. So you did. Yeah. And then, no, I didn't. And then when even people, even people say Charlemagne's face don't move sometimes. And I'd be like, <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Like, you know, but I've heard that too. You know, like all of that type of stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. But it, sometimes it's not even hate. It's just people. I mean, jealousy is just people that just can't keep nothing to themselves. Because you can feel all these ways. You just got to put it online. But she still is human at the end of the day. And it hurts her. Oh. Yeah, dude. That's just the mess. All right. Thank you, Jess. But sometimes it's just mm. people going to get them jokes, right? Like, we, we, yeah. we get them jokes and they give it's, us it's all them all jokes back. Is. You know what I mean? It is what it yeah. is. Yeah. All right. Well, no, it is what it is. That's all it is. They, they just, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Now, Charlemagne, who are you giving that down to? Yes. And listen, don't think that uh, we just stumbling and bumbling all over each other this morning because, okay, Jess is in uh, Maryland. I'm in yes. South Carolina. Um, and Envy is in the studio. So yep. there's a slight delay. Correct. All right. So don't think you're going crazy mm -hmm. out there listening mm -hmm. to us in Radio Land. Uh, they probably over four there four like, the hour, they are man. trash. <laughs> <laughs> For after the hour, uh, American Airlines needs to come to the front of the congregation. We would like to have a word with them, man. I know that it's summertime, and I know a lot of people stink, and a lot of people may not be able to smell themselves, but this story that we're going to talk about for after the hour is wrong. Okay? All right. We'll All discuss. Right. We'll get to that next. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.